Hello, it's Lawrence here, and I'm here with... Karen. Oh, she laughed again. Her signature <laughs> laugh. And we're doing a lesson for grade number... Three. Yeah, grade three. You know what grade you're on, right? <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> All right, so let's start with our scales. Do you want to pass me your scales book? Okay. You're grabbing it. Okay, bring it here. Here. Thank you, Aaron. So it'll be a cool lesson because when the pieces start, I'm actually going to put the camera from the back so then you guys can see the score. Because I know a lot of people are asking what's actually on the score. So you want to know exactly what I'm teaching. So let's start. We've got the next six scales from grade number four. And let's start with... F sharp melodic minor, both hands. left hand loud. Good. Now we're going to do E major, both hands crescendo and decrescendo. So the way we teach our kids is when they start soft, they have to lean what? In. in, like a mouse. But on the way up, they lean out. Out, yeah, like an elephant. And they have to be bigger. But the idea is that it's very smooth, the crescendo and decrescendo, and it can't go faster or slower. Let's see if she can do it. C sharp harmonic minor, bigger crescendo, and bigger decrescendo. Let's try. kids forget where four octaves land. Yeah. So make sure you know one, two, three, four is here. If you make a mistake, there'll be a punishment. You will have to do a chicken dance. Okay, ready and go. major, both hands crescendo and decrescendo. Okay, good. Let's try. <clears throat> All passed. So, hop up for me. So, for those who don't know, muso students generally do six scales in grade three. Yeah. So we do between four to six scales. Let's not chop off my head. Because my head is very important. <laughs> All right, ready. So we got G harmonic minor, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna put the camera from the back so then people can actually see what I'm writing. Raise the... Six and seven. Good. And then three, four, three turns on both hands. Let's have a look. So one, two, three, four, five. You don't 
don't play the E flat anymore, it becomes E. Natural. And then you don't play F, you play F sharp, because you raise the 6 and the 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But coming down, do you raise 6 and 7? Yeah. No, because it's melodic minor. So coming down, the F sharp is wiped out. It's now F. And the E flat comes, but you're so smart, Aaron. Three, four, three, four, three, four. Left hand. Three, four, three. Three, four, three. E flat chromatic is nice and easy. E flat major is four three four turns on both hands. So left hand, no right hand is four turn, three, then, 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 four, three, four. Left hand, it's stretchy, right? So the elbow will have to come up a bit. This is so far away, just not too much, okay? Because if little sister comes over, what will happen? We got C harmonic minor three four three and C melodic minor three four three. Any questions for scales? No. No questions? Okay, hop back on for me. And then moving on, we've got Hannon. So let's put away this book. And we're up to Hannon number four. Let's have a go. really good yeah. fingers are nice and curved so since you played it very well we're going to show our audience how we make our lessons fun so catch and go you remember this game right yeah yes we played this many times so the idea is we're going to throw a teddy bear at her she has to catch it throw it back and then she has to keep going what happens if you can't keep going you lose, lose. okay let's start with this one ready and go So she lost. <laughs> All right, so Bunny gets the attack here. <laughs> Ready now. Catch. Can okay, she remember? So number five, next lesson, this one is par. Okay, since you played so well, you can choose your sticker. Which one do you want? The blue one. The blue one. That one. You like blueberries. Let me guess, blue is your favorite color. Yeah. Okay, so five times through, do number five next lesson. Now let's move on, Cherny. So this is Cherny Opus 599. What number are we up to? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> We're up to number, I don't know. 28. 28. So you do know then. <laughs> Let's try. Nice. 
Guys, your left hand is way too loud. <laughs> what do I write here? Left hand. Oh, oh, oh. What does it say? Have a look. It says L H soft. So someone is not reading properly. <laughs> so let's do left hand only. Really soft. Two, three. There's no sound. Okay, ready? a bit harder. Okay, now right hand, dig more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's try it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Up, 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 up. Finish. Good. Now both hands. Make it musical for me. One, two, Finish the phrase, yeah? High ten me. Okay, number twenty-nine. Yes. You're age seven, but you're playing number twenty-nine. Stand on my right. Now this one is like a waltz, which means mm, cha cha mm, cha cha. Say it. Mm, cha cha mm, cha. <laughs> Good. So we're counting these quaver beats with one, two, three. Right hand swing like a waltz. One, two, three, 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 one. That's the end of my first phrase. And then I go louder. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Left hand, the finger five is a bit louder than the cha cha. Mm, cha cha, mm, cha cha. So look at my left hand. Cha cha, cha cha, cha cha. Aaron Chu, Aaron Chu. Then one two three one two three one two three one two drop up you to alternate all these repeated notes okay never play with one finger and go you want to alternate three two one two and the reason why is because every finger has different lengths right finger three is really long finger four is really long finger two is shorter finger one is fat <laughs> look how fat this one is compared to everything else you're fat yeah. <laughs> so that's why you want to alternate That helps me do my decrescendo in a very nice way. So here, I don't like this fingering. Let's go two, three, two, one, three, two. And once you get good at this, right, you can start flicking it really quickly, eventually. So we're preparing for the mid-year concert and Gavot is the piece we've chosen. <clears throat> Do you want to pass me your score? Yeah. Yeah. 
Which session is she performing in? Session. Um, I think it's the afternoon session. Okay, is it A, B, C, D, E? B, I think. Session B. I B. B. Alright, let's try from the very top. Try that last page. It's 12 to 1 30, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. And then over here, <coughs> lift off nicely. Not lift off ugly. <laughs> Let's try it from the very top of the page. Make sure we don't rush. So I'm going to write some eyeballs. Yeah, eyeballs <laughs> means in time. This one here, you actually didn't hold the two beats, <laughs> so you went dum dim dum dum. dum, dum. Yeah. So make sure it's very very in time. Come on. So let's go from here. Bum bum yummy yummy go. So yummy so. Let's go again from the top. This part here, make sure you slow off. So practice that. Do this. On. Right. Good. So how I train the kids to play a slow play it is before they even play the second note, you push from the arm. Ready? Try. Try again. Good, again. Now, without my help. Again. A bit too early now. <laughs> A bit too early, try. Now. Yeah, again. Yeah. So basically, the arm stops coming before you even play. But what you don't want to do is lift too high before you play, yeah? <laughs> no, you look a bit like a zombie. Let's <laughs> try. Again. See how nice that arm is again? Look at that. Now, from the very beginning. Yes, but you made a mistake. How dare you? Let's 
Where's my weapon? Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's try again from the top. about this part here you could actually have more dynamics so let's have a think about it hop up <coughs> we got one two in so push my body in here so she's gonna push me I always get the students to do this because kids love it when they get to push a teacher just make sure you don't go to school and start pushing people Got it. <laughs> so ready? Push me from the shoulders in. Ready? One. Push. Look how happy she is. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Okay, ready? And push. It's your only time to push your teacher. Just don't do it at school. Eh? Unless you say, my piano teacher teaches me to, to push people. <laughs> ready? From the top. From here. Two. Yeah. Three. There's no sound. Right, the whole point is to go louder. <laughs> right, you're going like this, yeah? <laughs> right, there's no sound. It's like two, three. So what's wrong with it now? It sounds too sudden, right? So how do we solve this problem? Is we play these notes a bit. Louder. Exactly. Yum dim dum dum dum. Not e e e e ba. That's more like it. Again. <laughs> now, if you make it cooler, here a bit softer. We hear that. You don't want to what I call loose balance, right? Yeah. If you over swing, that can happen. So try. slow down even more. Let's try it from the top of the page. Here don't slow down. Ya da dum da 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 not ya da da Time you miss a slur, <laughs> you have to run to that door 
Right, this more and okay. come back. Ready, go. <laughs> terrified of running to the floor <laughs> it's your biggest nightmare so i know what dad's gonna say now every time you're being naughty if you do it again you have to run to the wall and come back and then you straight away become a better girl <laughs> and then let's finish it off without the score go Imagine, okay, because this is for the concert, right? Do you think people would like it if you do this? No, 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 no. The audience will go, boo. Yeah. They'll throw some tomatoes at you. I'm joking. They, they won't. Muso kids are not violent. Yeah. All right, stand here. So watch, ready? Get up and take a bow. Don't rush it, okay? Okay. <laughs> I, need, I need to go to the toilet. Toilet time. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Take some time. Wake up. And then go. Okay, let's try it. The last line. Professional, please. Not toilet. questions for this piece? No. So fix slurs, work on nicer crescendos. Music must be nice, yeah? Yeah. In classical music, it's never da 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 da. <laughs> then some five year old in the front row will start crying. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> so scary. It's not meant to be scary, right? <laughs> da 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 Work on nicer crescendos, yeah? Then slurs in the section B. Most importantly, keep using the me metronome. Good, metronome is our best friend, yeah. That's why it's so good today, because you've been using that metronome. So 132. 132. Every day, three times with metronome, two times without metronome. 
What happens when you get to a spot and you keep messing up? You just stop and drill it. If you can't do it fast, very obvious, you do it slow. slow. You know what kids who aren't smart do? They keep trying to do it fast. Ooh. And they keep trying again and it's wrong. They keep trying and it's wrong. They keep trying. <laughs> it's too hard. It's the piano's fault. It's the composer's fault. It's beach fault. It's beach's fault. It's my hand. My hand is not working. <laughs> if you're smart, you would think, why was it not working? Let's try slow, right? Get the coordination first. <laughs> when you do it with the metronome, do it with the score. And dad will be watching you, okay? Because mm. you have to glue your eyes to the score. If you keep looking down, that's a very bad sign. Then two times fast without the metronome, memorize it. Now, of course, practice your bowing as well. Please, no coming off quick, okay? A lot of kids drive me nuts. They, they rush the last chord. Because they get too excited about finishing, but you won't, okay? Because you're a music student. Yum, dum, dum. Professional. Yeah. Please don't do this. That makes me annoyed. Yeah. Dum, dum, dum. Come off like a pro. Next piece: butterfly walls. So I know the audience wants to see the score for this one. So we're going to give them what they want. No, they can't see your cute face anymore. <laughs> it's okay. They can see the score. I've seen Isabel do something like this. They go right behind. Go nice and high. Does this actually work? <laughs> But then they can't see the score, can they? Yeah, it's a bit too small. It's too small. There's no way they will see the score. Okay, this is fine. Mm. Alright, let's try. Thank you, Aaron. Pretty good. I just need you to count <laughs> out. Loud. Okay. <laughs> I know you, we all think we're amazing and we all think we can count in our heads, <laughs> but just better so I know what you're thinking. Because I don't know if you're thinking pineapple, my. If you're thinking one, two, three. If you're thinking Barbie doll, Barbie doll. <laughs> so let's try again from the top. Let's go a bit slower. So hop up for me. It's a very mysterious piece. You know what mysterious means? What does mysterious mean? Mysterious is when you don't know, right? It's unknown. Can you imagine going to school and not knowing who you're going to meet? That's mysterious, right? And that's why a lot of kids are worried to go to a new school. So ready? Mysterious. Yeah. 
So in music, when there's a pause, it either means shock, right, or it means complete, right? So like, look at classical music. A lot of times it's very complete. So they add a pause, and you kind of just drop at the end. But in this case, it's a shock, right? Because the composer oh, puts that classic chord. Stand over here. Now count with me, go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Back. One, two, three. Now raise your eyebrows. Because you're shocked, right? Raise your eyebrows and then one, two, three. Now the right hand, I want more arm weight. So ready, help me. So we're gonna roll our arm to the right. But we wanna do it gently, right? Because if you do it aggressively, what happens? Aggressive, go. <laughs> then it becomes too hard, right? <laughs> we want, yum. ready, go. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Three. And that's how we get that very smooth sound going. Now, without her help, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's try from the very top, Aaron. Let's go. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good, but don't lift your shoulder. Okay? The music, you can't lift. I know you want to do dancing, okay? like this, but you, you actually need to relax your shoulder. Let's try again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good, relax that shoulder. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Good, arm weight. One, two. Do you see the mats? Yeah. Okay, try. One, two, and three. Say one and two and. One and two and. So you see how you're late? One and two and three. Try again. One and two and three and. All right, one more time. Feel free to crescendo more so it sounds more sad. Let's try. Let's go straight on from the theme. One, two, three. One, two, three. More right hand, less left hand. One, two, three. One, two. Start soft. Always start a phrase soft. Yeah? One, one, two. Now up. Three, one, two. We have these quick achikatura notes. Say for me. Achika. Achika. Tura. Tura. Say chicken. Chicken. A chicken. A chicken. Achika. Achika. Tura. Tura. Good. So when you get a new teddy bear, what are you going to call it? The teddy bear is going to be called. A chicken. A, a, a chicken. Okay, <laughs> right. stay over here. This is your. This is how we embarrass our students. Okay. How do you say again? A chicken. A chicken. <laughs> chicken tura. Chicken, chicken nuggets. <laughs> Alright, so a chica. A chica. Tura. Tura. Say tuna. Tuna. Tura. Tura. Say chicken and tuna. A chica. Tura. Say a chica. A chica. Tura. Tura. Say again. A chica. Without laughing, a chia katura. A chia katura. Good. What's your name? Erin. How Erin? How old are you? Eight. I thought you were seven. No, I'm not. You're eight. <laughs> Why you have to act like you're seven? Alright. <laughs> okay. And what's the name? <laughs> See, that's how I trick them. 
Sorry. Oh, you remember? Okay. She remembered. High five. Okay, she actually remembered. I'm, I'm surprised. A chia katura. So, ready? One and two and three. And one and two and three. And one and two and three. So, the key is to count out loud slowly. And you want three N on the G, three N, and you want to kind of rush the achikatura notes, ba -da -da -dum, so that the last note, the F sharp, lands on the one, one and two. So it's a bit of maths involved. One and two and three and one and two and three and. Now once you get good at this, you can add a little slow down here. One and two and three and one and. As long as your left hand comes in on one. One and two and three and one and two and three. Let's try. Let's do right hand first. Where? So say one and two. Go. One and two. Get them more in time. One and two. One and two. Go. One and two. Rushing. One and two. Go. One and two. Good. Now don't accent the last note. One and two. Go. One and two. Again. One and two. And again. One and two. Good. See? So down, then up. Try. One and two. And three. And oh. And two. Louder. And one and two. Go. And one and two. Louder. So nicely. But you have to count yourself. You can't let me cheat for you. One and two. Foot. Push with your wrist. Good. And don't go too fast, right? Good. And okay, let's try. <laughs> oh, just right hand. Oh. <laughs> and two. One and two. One and two and three. And too fast. Oh. <laughs> One and two and three and one more. You know octopus? Aaron the octopus. Let's go slower now. One and two. Still too fast. Look, look. One and two and three. And one and two. Romantic. One and two and three. And one and two and three. And one and two. Uh, uh. Where's the one? One and two and three. Again, no mistakes. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three. And again, where's my weapon? <laughs> so, if you're out of time, the teddy bear's gonna go, What cha? Okay, it's gonna use his butt. It's got the butt attack. Okay, ready? And go. One and two. And one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two. These are lessons are very violent, son. Wow! Very violent lessons. Ready again? Go. One, one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two. And three. Teddy is backing off. <laughs> All right, now let's try both hands. Now you know the game, right? Every time you do it well, the teddy bear is going to go further back. But every time you do it bad, the teddy bear gets closer. And closer. And what happens? What? Ta! <laughs> <laughs> so, ready? Both hands. Go. One, two, and three. And one, and two, and three. And one, and two, and three. And one, and two, and three. Whoa, very good. Okay, so teddy bear falls off. <laughs> and you won the battle. Okay, let's try one last time. If it's good, we'll keep going. So keep going. Oh. If it's good, keep going. Now here, the same thing, right? The last note comes in. So it's one and two and three and one and two. Not one and two, three. 
Is this gonna fix? Oh, wrong tone. Okay, ready. Got it? Alright, stop! Stop! Let me circle this first. So, draw this at home. Now, hop off on me. This part, what we can do is drop it more. The reason why the phrase is going down. Right? But here, the phrase is a bit higher. Exactly, see? It made her want to do tippy toes. <laughs> so high, right? So, one more time. One, two, three, four. Put your head down, you said. Yes, yeah, sink. She's sinking. The boat is sinking. But now the boat is going higher. <gasps> Go higher. Good. And it's getting very high, tippy toes. One, two, three, four. So, we play this last one more. Da 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 Sing it, go. Da 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 Yeah, it's not so <laughs> One and two and not <laughs> oh, look like a sausage. Alright, let's try. Don't be a sausage, otherwise I'm gonna nickname you sausage. I declare you sausage. Let's go from here. Dum da da dum dum. One, one, and... Oh, man. One, one, and two. How do you fix it? Oh. One, one, and two. Three. Yeah, one, one, and... Wait longer. <laughs> one, and two. So you want to start playing one, and after and. Try. One, one and... Da, da, two. It makes sense? You just yeah. hold this back. That's right. One... No, you have to wait. One... And two and oh, okay. your rhythm is wrong. <laughs> One and two. Do this. Go. It's not white play. Okay. No, it's three four three. Now the last note a bit louder. Look at me. Go. Nicely. 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 No, two start sudden. Again, now with the left hand. Mm. Yeah. Why is it not even? Keep this curve. Now with your body. Yeah. Okay, so from here. Yes, but can you count out loud at least? Mm -hmm. goes away yeah. it disappears so let's do right here first two and three and one and two let's try two and three and one and 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 two and three and da da and three and the one and two and the three and one. okay now can she do it both hands. Let's find out.
Saganer comes in, right? So, can she do it? Let's find out. Next lesson, aim to pass butterfly walls and aim to pass rondo as well. So you have two pieces that you might pass next week. Well done. Now for those who don't know, she's only been playing this for how long? Probably two or three weeks, right? So two weeks. Two weeks, right? So not very long. Yeah? And I haven't even looked at this piece, right? Have I? Yeah, first time today. First time, yeah. So well done to Aaron. Yeah. And hopefully next week we can film again. And we can show people how we pass a piece. Any questions for today? No. Great. Press that red button. Hmm. Say bye-bye. <laughs>